guys. For, for our second stop in the... For our second video today, how about we go check out the Silent Hill 2 Meet James Sunderland Bloober Team Dev Diaries. Alright. Good. Okay. Now. Alright. And again. Three. Two. One. And here we go. Creating a game is a journey, and we wanted to share ours with you. Really. Well, let's hear it. In the following episodes, we'll reveal how we brought our ultimate passion project to life, starting with a closer look at James Sunderland. Oh, you mean the main character of Silent Hill 2? Really? <laughs> None of this would have been possible without the support of our fans, including a legion of Silent Hill 2 players, who kept the dream alive for so long. Oh, you mean people will actually know what they're doing? These are our stories. We can't wait to hear yours. Really? Oh, really now? Yep, that's James in the, in the bathroom in the, is one of the, in the beginning. And unique characters in really? History. Yes, he is. James is a very layered character, although and, uh, it might not be obvious. You know, I asked this before, I've asked this question before, but it bears repeating. When James is when James is looking at himself in the mirror in the beginning of the game, is he asking himself this question? Is what I'm seeing real or not? Again, I don't know. It's from the start. Really? Uh, you can tell he's been through a lot. Yeah. And now he's come to this strange place. You can tell, obviously, that he that he's, you know, been through a lot. And James is really kind of, you know, he's been through a lot. And he's realized, you know, that he has to, you know, come, come to terms with, with, you know, what, ha you know, with something that not even he, that not even he realizes yet. Yeah. Driven by this insane hope that his wife could still be alive. Yeah. But sadly, that, well, that's not possible. That, you know, yes, he, okay, yes, he does cling to that hope that she could still be alive. I'll not deny that. But, Sadly, what he's hoping for is more is more than more than what he's more than what he actually knows. And I feel that's very easy to identify oh, with, God. because well, we've all lost someone, and what wouldn't we give yeah. if, if by some miracle they could be brought back? Yeah, if only that were possible. That our loved ones could be brought back to life, you know? People, if that were possible, would you actually, would you go through the utter, would you go through the utter living nightmare that James has actually been through to save a loved one? Yeah. That's a good question, isn't it? We wanted it? to stay true yeah. to the original design. But we also wanted to use modern technology to expand on the concept of an ordinary man. Okay, now I'm starting to understand a little bit more of why James looks the way he does in the remake. I understand that. Now I'm starting to get the more. And now I'm starting to get a more clear idea of why he looks like he does. Our version of James has three-day facial hair, yeah. 
you will see his clothes getting dirtier and his face more tired as he progresses through the game. Yeah, and you can tell, obviously, that, you know, James, as the game goes on, really doesn't have much really else to, to, to do in the game, you know? Yeah, because basically, you know, he's realized that the longer the longer you go, the more tired the he seems to get. Is the story of James. Everything yeah. he does in that story is meaningful. And exactly. The it is very is meaningful, meaningful, people. That's why we were very deliberate. And it really kind of and it really forced you to answer a question that well, not a lot of people not a lot of people ever have to answer. What would you go through to bring back a loved one? If it were possible, what would you go through to do that? My friends, I'm pretty sure if that loved one were like were like your wife or your girlfriend or something like that, you'd probably go you'd probably go literally to the ends of the earth to bring her back. About the actions that we yeah. ask the players to perform. You probably would. They all have meaning. Yeah. You'd probably go you'd so probably go to all the other ends of the earth to bring to bring back a loved one. Oh yeah, you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are very few games where the narrative permeates this players of the experience. Yes. Not just about dialogue or any text. The story. My goodness. Level design. I'm guessing this project took probably about. Probably took God knows how long to do, and I'd say, also crucial to well done, him in a way that well done, his Konami. His For once, you didn't, you didn't fuck up. You didn't fuck things up. Uh, you done good. Take, uh, now the question it. is, are you actually going to be able to do so the others the, the same way you did this hero. one? And if so, how are you going to do it? So we usually use the references yeah. to videos of just normal people. That's a good question. Them, Are you actually going to do the other ones in the same way you did this one? Working with professional actors on the set. Yeah, it's, and if you do, uh, well, for the game like this, I hope to God you know what you're doing. He's able to portray all of those emotions, even not through words, but through facial yeah. expressions and acting in a specific way. The only question is... Roberts, how in the world? Choice, how in the world? Process. You know, did this? How in the world did all of this come to be? You know. I mean, like, was this a project that they want? That they actually? That they actually wanted to do? Or was this a project where it was like? Where it was like? Okay, the Silent Hill 2 name kind of seems like it's just, you know, sitting in limbo right now, right? And so they figured, well, why not just try to see if Konami's willing to, you know, is really try, why not see if, like, you know, Konami will give us the rights to it? And I'd have to say, Blooper Team, you done good. You done good. You did. You didn't fuck it up, like so like you, like yo know, like like some of your past I games, from what I've heard. Did unfortunately, yeah, this is not exactly the way people probably want to remember this game. But from the way, but from the way things are in this remake, I'd have to say, well done, pretty good, pretty darn good. Oh, brother. Oh, dude. Wow. Okay, so that was the motion capture for the for the scene where Maria, where James can't get the elevator open. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, because they, yeah, because they wanted to motion capture all the, you know, all the actors. You know? They wanted to make sure they motion captured all the, all the actors, you know, who are going to be, who are going to be, who are going to be the, 
you know, voices of these characters. So that way they get the, you know, motion capture, right? Which does bring up a, which does bring up a question. In the original, did the voice actors do this too? And if they did, you gotta wonder, how did they convey, how did they like, you know, convey, like, convey what, what was going on in the scene? You know? I mean, was this like a, an example of how, of how Konami, you know, how Konami and or Bloober team, you know, was like, eh, this isn't quite exactly right, and it's probably something we probably should shoot for, we should probably shoot again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, people, just in case you're wondering, Silent Hill 2 is available now. Pick it up physically if you can find if you can find a physical copy. Or digitally, which I'm pretty sure is on the PS5 and the Steam store. So would I recommend you pick it up? Yes and no. I say yes in the sense that, well, um, that yes, it's good from what I've seen of it, but I also feel that, you know, Konami might have, you know, might have tried to, you know, do a little, a little sneaking in of some things that probably were in the original, which I don't know why they would do that so anyway guys anyway if you guys did enjoy this video and i hope you did please feel free to go check out the original video on the silent hill official youtube channel if you want if you want to check it out leave a like on the video share your thoughts in the comments down below share the video around for those who wish to for those who wish to see and who are, or who have never heard of this channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Feel free to download this video, this reaction video if you want to. And my friends, do not forget to subscribe for more of me and these videos you shall see. And until next time, later fam squad. Uh.